one minute the people recording in progress Ah, ikke det er det er det er det Stop Are you ready? Session is called to order. Everybody is requested to rise for the singing of the national anthem. Bye.
remain standing for a minute of a silent prayer. Thank you. The Secretary General is directed to call the roll of members. The roll call of members, honorable representatives, Abalos, Abante, Abunda, Acharon, Asidre, Ako, Adyong, Advincula, Agarao, Alba, Albano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez Jose, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantalion, Amante, Amatong, Ang, Angara, Aquino, Aquino Magsaysay, Arbison, Arenas, Arogancia, Asistio, Ataide, Omentado, Balindong, Barba, Barbers, Baronda, Barzaga, Bascu, Bautista, Bautista Lim, Benitez, Bernos, Billones, Beron, Bolilia, Bondo, Bongalon, Bordado, Bosita, Briones, Brosas, Buhain, Bulut Begtang, Bustos, Cabredo, Cagas, Cahayon Uy, Calderon, Calixto, Campos, Kawagdan, Cardema, Cari, Castro, Franz, Castro, Jean, Celeste, Chan, Chato, Chua, Jungalaw, Co. Angelica Natasha, Co. Elizaldi, Co. Pilar, Co. Juanco Jaime, Co. Juanco Mark, Colada, Coliantes, Corvera, Cruz Ambrosio, Cruz Ricardo, Cua, Cuaresma, Dago, Dalipe, Dalog, Dayang Hiram, Daza, De Jesus, Divinesha, Defensor, Del Mar, De Los Santos, Dimaporo Muhammad Kali, Dimaporo City Amina, Dionisio, Domingo, Duavi, Tuhali, Duterte, D. Faustino Ino, D. Faustino Michael, D. Ian Paul, Ecleo, Emano, Enverga, Escudero, Espares, Espina, Estrella, Yudela, Farinas, Fernandez, Ferrer Antonio, Ferrer Juliet Marie, Flores, Fortes, Frasco, Fresnedi, Fuentebella, Galeos, Garcia Albert, Garcia Dante, Garcia Jose Arturo, Garcia Maria Angela, Garcia Pablo Jan, Garcia Vincent, Guardiola, Garin, Gasataya, Gato, Go Ed Christopher, Go Mark, Goles, Gomez, Gonzaga, Gonzales Aurelio, Gonzales Neptali, Gonzales Sandro, Goriseta, Guico, Gintu, Gulias, Gutierrez, Hagidorn, Haresco, Hataman, Hernandez, Herrera, Horibata, Javier, Co. Olga Ara, Co. Ricardo, Co. Wilton, Conghun, Labad-Labad, Lacson, Lacson Noel, Lagman, Lagon Daphne, Lagon Sani, Lara, Lazatin, Lee, Legarda, Libanan, Limkaichong, Loyola, Luistro, Lumayag, Makapagal Arroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Magsino, Malapitan, Mangawang, Manikis, Manuel, Maranyon, Marcoleta, Marcos, Mariano Hernandez, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Mastura, Matibag, Matugas, Mendoza, Mercado, Mercado Revilla, Miguel, Momo, Morden, Nava, Nisay, Noel, Nograles, Juan Fidel, Nograles, Margarita, Nolasco, Uaminal, Olaso, Olivares, Ongjuan, Ordanes, Ortega, Uano Dizon, 
Padiernos, Paduano, Paglas, Palma, Panaligan, Pancho, Panotes, Pascual, Peña, Pimentel, Plaza, Plato, Primicia Zagabas, Pumaren, Puno, Kimbo, Rama, Recto, Rihensha, Remulia, Revilla Bryan, Revilla Ramonjolo, Reyes, Rilio, Rivera, Robes, Rodriguez Eulogio, Rodriguez Rufus, Roman, Romero, Romualdez Ferdinand Martin, Romualdez Yeda Marie, Romualdo, Romulo, Roque, Sakdalan, Sagarbaria, Sakaluran, Salceda, Sali, Salimbangon, Salo, Salvame, Santos, Saulug, Silverio, Singson Richel, Singson Ronald, Singson Mihan, Solon, Suwan, Suansing Horacio, Suansing Micaela Angela, Suarez, Taliado, Tamayo, Tambunting, Tan Joseph, Tan Keith Micah, Tan Reynolds Michael, Tan Samir, Tan Stephen James, Tan Tambut, Tan Chay, Tan Watko, Tariela, Teodoro, Teves Jose, Tianco, Tieng, Tolentino, Tulfo Jocelyn, Tulfo Ralph Wendell, Tupas, Tutor, T, Umali, Unabia, Ungab, Valeriano, Valmayor, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velasco, Veloso Tuazon, Vergara, Versosa, Villa, Villaforte Luis Raymond, Villaforte Miguel Luis, Villanueva, Villar, Villaraza Suarez, Villarica, Violago, Yamsuan, Yap Christiantel, Yap Christopher Son, Yap Edvig, Yap Eric, U Divina Grace, U Jazel Victoria, Yulo, Zamora Amparo Maria, Zamora Maria Carmen, Zamora Isabel Maria, Zubiri. Mr. Speaker, the roll call shows the 309 members responded to the call. With 309 members responding to the call, the chair declares the presence of a quorum. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move for the deferment of the approval of journal of the previous session. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we now proceed with the reference of business and request that the Secretary General be directed to read the titles of the bills and resolutions on first reading as well as communications and committee reports. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to do, to do so. Please proceed. Reference of business, bills on first reading, House Bill Number 7962, establishing a special economic zone and free port in the province of Antique, Representative Ligarda. To the Committee on Economic Affairs and the Committee on Trade and Industry. House Bill Number 7963, establishing an agricultural pension fund to provide pensions and benefits to farmers and fisher folks. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Government, Enterprises, and Privatization. House Bill Number 7964, amending the Civil Code Article 941 on Legacies and Devices. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7965, amending the Penal Code Article 259 on Abortion. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7966, amending Section 17. Chapter 5, Title 1, Book 3, and Section 27, Chapter 5, Title 1A, Book 5 of the Administrative Code of 1987. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7967, amending certain provisions of the Radiologic Technology Act of 1992. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Civil Service and Professional Regulation. House Bill Number 7968, amending RA Number 10586, penalizing persons driving under the influence of alcohol, dangerous drugs, and similar substances. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Transportation. House Bill Number 7969, further regulating the sale of secondhand articles, particularly electronic and telecommunications equipment. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7970, considering rice or corn hoarding and profiteering during or on the occasion of any calamity of emergency declared by such by the President as equivalent to economic sabotage. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. 
to the Committee on Agriculture and Food. House Bill Number 7971. Defining and Prohibiting Senior Citizens Abuse, Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Special Committee on Senior Citizens. House Bill Number 7972, Prescribing a Higher Penalty for Persons in Authority as Accessories who Directly Cause or Order the Destruction or Concealment of Vital Evidence for Heinous Crimes. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7973, Protecting the Right of Athletes to Represent the Philippines as Part of the National Team. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Youth and Sports Development. House Bill Number 7974, Providing for the Minimum Contents of a Comprehensive Report on Electronics to the President, uh, Elections to the President and to, the, and to Congress by the Comelec. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Suffrage and Electoral Reforms. House Bill Number 7975, Modernizing the Crime Investigation Techniques of Law Enforcement Agencies. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Public Order and Safety. House Bill Number 7976, Defining Economic Sabotage in Computer Related Offenses. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Information and Communications Technology. House Bill Number 7977, Providing protection to consumers by expanding the definition of basic necessities and prime commodities. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Trade and Industry. House Bill Number 7978, mandating the secretaries of the DOF, NEDA, DBM, and the governor of the BSP to appear biannually before a joint session of Congress to report on the status and directions of the fiscal and monetary policies of the state. Representatives Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Appropriations. House Bill Number 7979, Institutionalizing Skills Trainings Program and Providing Job Opportunities to Inmates and deten in Detention Facilities. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Higher and Technical Education. House Bill Number 7980, Establishing and Institutionalizing Long Term Care for Senior Citizens. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Special Committee on Senior Citizens. House Bill Number 7981, Instituting the Magna Carta for non uniform Personnel in Uniform Agencies. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Civil Service and Professional Regulation. House Bill Number 7982, Protecting the Rights of Mobile Phone Subscribers. Representative Villafuerte, Luis Raymond, and Yamsuan. To the Committee on Information and Communications Technology. House Bill Number 7983, Providing a national strategy for the development of artificial intelligence, creating the National Center for Artificial Intelligence Research. Representative Tan Keith Michael. To the Committee on Science and Technology. Rep House Bill Number 7984, to rehabilitate and upgrade existing resettlement areas. Representative Ginto. To the Committee on Housing and Urban Development. House Bill Number 7985, providing for a national policy on students' rights and welfare. Representative Ginto. To the Committee on Basic Education and Culture and the Committee on Higher and Technical Education. Resolution, House Resolution 950, directing the House of Representatives through the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability to investigate the reported fire sale of laptops procured by teachers for teachers by the DepEd in surplus stores in Cebu and Rizal on, and on the Facebook marketplace. Representative Castro Franz, Brosas, and Manuel. To the Committee on Rules. Communications, letter dated March 21, 2023, of the Acting Director, Veterans Memorial Medical Center, submitting to the House a copy of their report on the revised actual income collection and utilization as of December 31, 2022. To the Committee on Appropriations. Letter dated March 23, 2023, of the NIA Regional Manager submitting to the House a copy of the status of infra procurement implementation as of March 15, 2023, in the 1st District of Leyte. To the Committee on Public Works and Highways. Letters and email from certain local chief executives and officials transmitting to the House copies of the reports on fund utilization and status of program projects activity implementation relative to the local government support fund and the Bayanihan grant to cities, municipalities, and provinces for certain months of 2022 and 2023. To the Committee on Appropriations. 
letter dated March 27, 2023 of the DPWH Director, Regional Office 8, submitting to the, to the House a copy of their monthly status report as of February 28, 2023, in the 1st District of Leyte. To the Committee on Public Works and Highways. Letter dated April 4, 2023 of the Director, DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute, submitting to the House copies of certain financial reports as of March 2023. To the Committee on Appropriations. Letter dated April 4, 2023 of the Bureau of Immigration, Commissioner submitting to the House a copy of their first quarter collection report on the express lane fee for fiscal year 2023. To the Committee on Appropriations. Letter dated April 11, 2023 of the CESB Executive Director submitting to the House a copy of their quarterly fiscal report of operations as of March 31, 2023. To the Committee on Civil Service and Professional Regulation. Committee Reports. Committee Report 506, submitted by the Committee on Revision and Laws on House Bill 7986. Committee Report 7507, submitted by the Committee on Economic Affairs on the Committee on Trade and Industry on House Bill 8001. Committee Report 508, submitted by the Committee on Public Works and Highways on House Bill 425. Committee Report 509, submitted by the Committee on Tourism and the Committee on Appropriation on House Bill 8003. Committee Report 510, submitted by the Committee on Tourism on House Bill 8004. Committee Report 511, submitted by the Committee on Poverty Alleviation on House Bill 8008. Committee Report Number 512, submitted by the Committee on Women and Gender Equality on House Bill Number 8009. The aforementioned committee reports are all referred to the committee rules. Additional reference of business resolutions. House Resolution 951, expressing profound condolences of the House of Representatives on the demise of Governor Carlos M. Padilla, Representative Olivares. To the committee rules. House Resolution 952, expressing the profound condolences to the family of the Honorable Carlos M. Padilla, former Deputy Speaker, representative of the lone legislative district of Nueva Vizcaya and governor of the province of Nueva Vizcaya, representative Unabio Suan Umano. To the committee rules. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, may we recognize the guests of the Deputy Majority Leader, the Honorable Jose Bong J. Tavis Jr. Uh, here with us today is the Triskelion brother and a member of the Tau Gamma Phi Order of Law, Attorney Gabriel Hill Baez. Welcome to the House of Representatives. Mr. Speaker, may we also recognize the guests of Honorable Angelica Natasha Ko, the 28 BHW Federation officers from the province of Cebu. Welcome to the People's House. Welcome to your house. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, may we request uh, one minute suspension? Session suspended. Ladies and gentlemen, the House of Representatives requests uh, the honor of your presence at the necrological service for the late Honorable Carlos M. Padilla to be held at the Plenary Hall, House of Representatives, Quezon City after the Requiem Mass at 9 a.m. on May 11, 2023. Thank you, Your Honors. Session is resumed. Mr. Speaker, under the calendar of business for the day, I move that we consider House Bill number 7763 as contained in committee report number 476 submitted by the Committee on Foreign Affairs. Copies of this bill have been previously distributed to the members and for this purpose, may I request that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill 
for consideration. Is there any objection? Chair here stand. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to do so. Please proceed. House Bill 7763, an act declaring August 9 of every year as the Philippines Israel Friendship Day. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair here stand. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we recognize the Honorable Vanessa Aumentado to deliver her sponsorship remarks. The Honorable Aumentado is uh, recognized to deliver sponsorship remarks. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, to my colleagues in the 19th Congress, to all the guests, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The proposed legislative measure seeks to declare August 9th of every year as Philippine-Israeli Friendship Day. This is a substitute bill approved by the Committee on Foreign Affairs, headed by Chairperson Maria Rachel J. Arenas, and co-authored by 23 other members. It is in substitution to House Bill No. 2216, filed by Representative Brother Eddie Villanueva, House Bill No. 7306, filed by this humble representation. It aims at strengthening the relationship between the two countries who shared history, values, and tradition. It intends to cement an already warm and historic relation between Philippines and Israel. Mr. Speaker, it should be remembered that in the late 1930s, the Philippine Commonwealth government under then-President Manuel L. Quezon officially offered safe haven and issued 10,000 visas to Jewish refugees. By then, while most nations of the world shut their doors for Jews, the Philippines, through Kassan's open-door policy, unconditionally received up to 1,300 refugees who were mostly from Germany and Austria and settled them in government-provided housing communities in Marikina. The Israelis were provided new homes in the Philippines and were treated with much compassion and kindness. Significantly, Mr. Speaker, on November 29, 1947, the Philippines voted for the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 181 recommending the partition of Palestine and the establishment of a Jewish state. The Philippines was among the 33 countries who supported the creation of the State of Israel, the only Asian country who voted for the said UN resolution. Mr. Speaker, these events became the foundation of a deep historical, cultural, and moral connection between two countries, which later on led to a long-lasting friendship. Thus, on August 9, 1957, the State of Israel and the Republic of the Philippines established full diplomatic relation. The formal signing of the Treaty of Friendship ensued on February 26, 1958. Mr. Speaker, up to this day, the Philippines continues to reap the benefits of helping the Jews, with Filipino tourists being given visa-free entry to Israel for 90 days since 1969. An important gesture of reciprocity is when Typhoon Haiyan, locally known as Yolanda, struck the Philippines and left thousands of Filipinos dead, injured, and homeless. The State of Israel immediately mobilized medical professionals, set up field hospitals, donated medicine, and provided relief goods to those who were affected. Presently, the two countries have already enhanced an even closer relation with increased interactions in the areas of agriculture, commerce and development, trade and investment, research and technological innovation. In 2009, the State of Israel built an Open Doors Monument and Lisyon Memorial Park just off the city of Tel Aviv. Accordingly, the gesture was made in grateful appreciation to the late Philippine President Manuel L. Quezon and the Filipino people for the Open Doors policy which gave Israeli refugees the opportunity to lead new lives. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, the Israelis have not forgotten our acts of gallantry and kindness. It is but right that we do also. 
it is important that we commemorate President Manuel L. Quezon's open door policy. We should be considered as one of the Philippines' greatest moral victories as a country and a showing of strength of Filipino moral courage. It was a great moral victory, not only for the Israelis who were saved, but also for the Filipinos who emerged as real-life heroes. This is a fragment of history where humanity prevailed and the Filipinos were at the center of it. Memories of the past must always be remembered, for it will guide us in the present to be a better nation and to be better people. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, acknowledging the mutual desire towards greater cooperation and expansion of partnership founded on a moral, historical, and extraordinary relationship between the two countries, there is a need to formally commemorate it by declaring August 9 of every year as the Philippine-Israeli Friendship Day. Considering the foregoing, immediate approval of this bill is earnestly recommended. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and once again, good afternoon. Thank you, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, there being no member who wishes to interpolate, I move that we terminate the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of amendments. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, there being no committee nor individual amendments, I move that we terminate the period of amendments. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we vote on second reading House Bill Number 7763 as contained in Committee Report 476. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Those in favor of the resolution, please say aye. Aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. House Bill 7763 as contained in Committee Report 476 is hereby adopted. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we suspend session for a few minutes. Session suspended. Session is resumed. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, under the calendar of business for the day, I move that we consider House Bill Number 7718 as contained in Committee Report Number 466, submitted by the Committee on Overseas Workers Affairs. Copies of the said bill have been previously distributed to the members, and may I request that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the bill under consideration. Is there any objection? Chair here, son. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to do so. Please proceed. House Bill 7718, an act redefining the crime of illegal recruitment committed by a syndicate amending for the purpose Presidential Decree Number 442, otherwise known as the Labor Code of the Philippines as amended, and Republic Act Number 8042, otherwise known as the Migrant Workers and Overseas Filipinos Act of 1995 as amended.
Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that the chairperson of the Committee on Overseas Workers Affairs, the Honorable Representative Ron Salo, be recognized to sponsor the measure. The Honorable Salo is recognized to sponsor the measure. Please proceed, Honorable Salo. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. As the chair of the Committee on Overseas Workers Affairs, it is my privilege to sponsor Committee Report Number 466 on House Bill Number 7718, which is a substitute bill to House Bill Number 3600, authored by Representatives Ralph Wendell Tulfo and Jocelyn Tulfo, and House Bill Number 4940, authored by Representative Gaston Bunting. The bill aims to redefine the crime of illegal recruitment committed by a syndicate under a Presidential Decree Number 442 or the Labor Code of the Philippines, as amended in Republic Act Number 8042, or the Migrant Workers and Overseas Filipinos Act of 1995, as amended, by reducing the number of perpetrators from three or more to two or more persons if the crime is committed by non-licensees or non-holders of authorities. If passed into law, Mr. Speaker, this proposed measure will strengthen protection of our OFWs and dissuade illegal or unauthorized recruiters from pursuing their legal activities as the amendments will facilitate their conviction for illegal recruitment. I therefore urge this August body, Mr. Speaker, to approve this proposed measure soonest. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Salo, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, there being no member who wishes to interpolate, I move that we close the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair here, son. Motions approved. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of amendments. Is there any objection? Chair here is none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, there being um, no committee nor individual amendments, I move that we terminate the period of amendments. Is there any objection? Chair here is none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we vote on second reading House Bill number 7718 as contained in committee report number 466. Is there any objection? Chair here is none. Motion is approved. Those in favor of the measure, please say aye. Aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. House Bill 7718, as contained in Committee Report 466, is hereby approved. Mr. Third Speaker, leader. I move that we suspend session for a few minutes. Session suspended. Session is resumed. Mr. Speaker, I move that we consider for approval on um, omnibus approval on second reading the following House bills, um, local bills House Bill number 7752, as contained in Committee Report 471, submitted by the Committee on Government, Enterprises, and Privatization. House Bill Number 7755, as contained in Committee Report 474, submitted by the Committee on Higher and Technical Education. 
House Bill Number 7756, as contained in Committee Report Number 475, submitted by the Committee on Higher and Technical Education, and House Bill 7764, um, sub contained in Committee Report Number 477, submitted by the Committee on Economic Affairs. Copies of the four aforementioned House Bills have been distributed to the members. And for consideration, may I request that the Secretary General be directed to read the title of the measures under consideration. Is there any objection? Chair, hears none. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is uh, directed to do so. Please proceed. House Bill 7752, an act creating the Metropolitan Bataan Development Authority, defining its powers and functions, and providing funds therefore. House Bill 7755, an act establishing in the city of Antipolo, province of Rizal, a technical education and skills development authority training and assessment center to be known as the Antipolo City Technical Education and Skills Development Authority training and assessment center and appropriating funds therefore. House Bill 7756, an act establishing the city of Ligao, province of Albay, a technical education skills development authority training and assessment center to be known as Ligao City, Albay, TESDA, Training and Assessment Center and Appropriating Funds, therefore. House Bill 7764, an act establishing a special defense economic zone in the, inside the government arsenal defense industrial estate located in Camp General Antonio Luna, Lamao Municipality of Limay, Province of Bataan, creating for this purpose the Special Defense Economic Zone Authority and appropriating funds, therefore. Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair here, son. Motions approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we consider the respective explanatory notes as the sponsorship speeches of the said measures. <laughs> Is there any objection? Chair here, son. Motions approved. Mr. Speaker, there being no member who wishes to interpolate on the said local bills, I move that we terminate the period of sponsorship and debate. Is there any objection? Chair here, stand. Motions approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we open the period of amendments and approve the committee amendments, if any, as contained in the respective committee reports of the aforementioned bills. Is there any objection? Chair here, stand. Motions approved. Mr. Speaker, there being no individual amendments, I move that we terminate the period of amendments. Is there any objection? Chair, here is none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we vote on second re reading the following House bills. House Bill number 7752 as contained in Committee Report 471. House Bill number 7755 as contained in Committee Report 474. House Bill number 7756 as contained in Committee Report 475. And House Bill number 7764 as contained in Committee Report 477. Is there any objection? Chair, here's none. Motions approved. Those in favor of uh, House Bill 7752, 7755, 7756, 7764, uh, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. House Bill 7752, as contained in Committee Report 471. House Bill 7755, as contained in Committee Report 474. House Bill 7756, as contained in Committee Report 475, and House Bill 7764, as contained in Committee Report 477, are all approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, pursuant to our rules governing inquiries in aid of legislation, I move that we refer the following speeches to the appropriate committees. The, speeches, uh, the speech by Representative Roman delivered on March 13 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality. The speech of Representative Aquino Magsaysay delivered on March 13 to the Committee on Senior Citizens. The speech of Representative Brosas delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Labor and Employment. The speech of Representative Cardema delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Welfare of Children. The speech of Representative Franz Castro delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Basic Education and Culture. 
The speech of Representative Escodero delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality and Welfare of Children. The speech of Representative Mercado Levilia delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Labor and Employment. The speech of Representative Mastura delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality. The speech of Representative Divine Yu delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality. The speech of Representative Matibag delivered on March 13, 2023 to the Committee on Labor and Employment. The speech of Representative Brosas delivered on March 14, 2023 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality. The speech of Representative Dagook delivered on March 14, 2023 to the Committee on Ways and Means. The speech of Representative Tevez delivered on March 15, 2023 to the Committee on Public Information. The speech of Representative Mariano Hernandez delivered on March 20, 2023 to the Committee on Women and Gender Equality. The speech of Representative Chua delivered on March 20, 2023 to the Committee on Basic Education and Culture. The speech of Representative Brosas delivered on March 20, 2023 to the Committee on Welfare of Children. The speech by Representative Tevez delivered on March 22, 2023 to the Committee on Banks and Financial Intermediaries. And finally, the speech of Representative Daza delivered on March 22, 2023 to the Committee on Civil Service and Professional Regulation. Is there any objection? Chair, here, son. Motion is approved. Dirty Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we suspend session for a few minutes. Session suspended.
Kalisha. Okay. Okay.
Session is resumed. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we recognize the guests of the Honorable Jose Bong J. Tevis Jr., who is our Deputy Majority Leader. Uh, may we recognize Ms. Fresel Rosales de Nolo and Mr. Francis Derby Apoyos. Welcome to the House. Mr. Speaker, considering the cut, that copies of journal number 69, dated May 8, 2023, were already distributed to the members, I move to dispense with the reading of the said journal. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there is a motion to dispense with the reading of journal number 69, dated May 8, 2023. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. The motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we approve journal number 69, dated May 8, 2023. Subject to the correction of the result of the roll call on page 3, the figure 310 should be 309. I so move, Mr. Speaker. There is a motion to approve the said journal as corrected. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Journal number 69, dated May 8, 2023, is hereby approved as corrected. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, May 9, 2023, we adopted House Resolution number 949, Resolution expressing the profound condolences of the House of Representatives to the family of the Honorable Carlos M. Padilla, Governor of the Province of Nueva Vizcaya and former Deputy Speaker and the Representative of the Lone Legislative District of Nueva Vizcaya. I move for the consideration of similar measures, namely House Resolution Numbers 951, 952 with House Resolution 949. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move for a one minute suspension. Session suspended.
Session is resumed. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we reconsider the adoption of House Resolution Number 928 for perfecting amendments. There is a motion to reconsider the adoption of House Resolution Number 928. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Mr. Speaker, I move that we amend the third whereas clause to read as follows. Whereas he is survived by his wife, Gretchen de Venecia, and children Albert Jr., Hans Louis, Ingeborg Regina, Margaret, and Stephanie. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move for the adoption of House Resolution 928 as amended. As many as are in favor, say aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it. House Resolution number 928 is hereby adopted as amended. Mr. Majority Speaker, Leader. considering that there are no other matters to take up, I move that we adjourn session until Monday. May 15 at 3 p.m. Is there any objection? Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Uh, session is adjourned until Monday, May 13, 3 p.m.